It isn't winter yet, but it sure is starting to feel like it here in the Chicago area. We've had a number of days with temperatures below freezing, and we've had our first snowfall. And on a freezing morning like today, if I didn't know any better, I might think that I've lost my greens to the cold. But fortunately, the cold-hardy plants I'm growing can tolerate not only freezing temperatures, but also repeated bouts of freezing and thawing. So when I peek inside the cold frames and polytunnels this morning, the greens don't look so good, but I know they're fine. Some of them won't make it through January and February, but for now they're all okay. I also know, however, that now is not the time for a harvest. Harvesting greens when they are frozen will likely cause wilting and could even kill them. So I'll wait until the temperature inside the cold frames and polytunnels is above freezing and the plants have thawed out then it will be safe to harvest them. Fortunately, even on most very cold and cloudy days, the temperature in the cold frames and polytunnels will rise above freezing, usually between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And on cold sunny days, the temperature may stay above freezing into the early evening. So I'll come back later in the day to pick my salad, after the greens have thawed out and are safe to harvest. Later in the day, the temperature inside the cold frames and polytunnels is above freezing and I'm ready to pick my salad. The salad will consist of cold hardy greens and herbs that you may be familiar with if you watch my videos on fall and winter gardening. And with salad in hand, I'm ready to get back inside where it's warm. Though not necessary today, a precaution you may want to take on very cold days, especially if your garden is some distance from your house, is to place your harvest in a covered basket. You may even want to insulate the basket with towels for extra protection. You don't want your harvest to freeze and wilt on the way back to the house. But it's not very cold out now, and I have just a short walk so my greens won't need the added protection today. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.